Good morning, YouTube. This is Dr. Sola coming to you from Port Harcourt. As you can see, it's raining, heavy duty rain. See rain? That's our client's generator, and we're trying to minimize how much this generator runs by doing this. So here are our Tesla Smart Lithium Ion batteries. We have six of them for 18 kilowatt hours. On the roof, we have 24 280 watt panels. Here is our Victron, and um, we spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out how this works. And the final solution was to use our battery monitor to serve as a relay to tell our inverters when to charge and when not to charge. So let me tell you what the objective is. One, the priority for the inverter is, or the system as a whole, is batteries and solar. As long as battery power is available and as long as solar power is available, that is the priority. Once it gets to a certain threshold, it starts either a generator or it switches over to, the, to NEPA. So if NEPA is available, it switches to NEPA, charges the batteries, and then goes off. If, either, if NEPA is not available, then it starts the generator, charges the batteries, and switches off. So as you can see in this panel, NEPA is not available. Should NEPA come in? The, inver the inverter will ignore it and continue to power the items that are on this circuit, which are the washing machine, swimming pool pump, the household water pump, the lights, the refrigerators, the freezers, you know, all the things inside this house. Okay, we'll continue to power it on the batteries until we drop to a certain threshold. So on the roof, we have 6,700 watts in panels. Inside, we have 18 kilowatt hours in batteries. Now, we don't have a BMS to pretend that we have one. We're using our battery monitor. Okay, we spent two days figuring this out. And what our battery monitor does is it opens and closes a, re a relay. It's, it has a relay. It opens and closes, and we're using the temperature sensor as our relay. And what the temperature sensor does is if it's open, it allows the batteries to charge. If it's closed... It doesn't allow our batteries to charge. That's how we did the setup, and all that was done using our laptop. So hopefully you got to, you got to enjoy this. I'm very excited about this one. Uh, here is another customer who's going to be very very happy. We are happy. Uh, we spent quite a bit of. We spent what? How many days this one, Mr. Zika? Two. We spent two days. We spent two days this time around, and we spent three days the last time around, and we finally got it right. So this is Dr. Solar coming to you from. Port Harcourt, Nigeria.